If you ever want to take the extra step and actually scan with us in live patients in amazing locations, go to this website right up here. Check out these conferences we have. We have Castle Fest coming up and we have Cabo Fest after that. And at the end of the academic year, we are also going to do another conference in Yellowstone, which they're all my favorite, but I have a special place in my heart for Yellowstone. Castle Fest is great. Cabo is amazing. Anyways, check out the website. If it looks good, just register and look forward to seeing you there. Hello, this is Jacob Avila of 5 Minute Sono, and today I'm going to show you how you can use ultrasound to identify shoulder dislocations. Your probes of choice for this exam are going to be either the linear or the curvilinear transducer. Both can work. I tend to use the curvilinear a little bit more, but the linear works just fine. As far as where to place the probe on the patient, you want to place it in the posterior aspect right about where I have it and you're gonna to wanna to have the probe in a transverse orientation. Generally, I have the probe marker over towards the patient's left because I have the machine in front of the patient with the screen facing towards me, and I like left being left on the screen. It just makes a little more sense to me. You wanna identify basically two main structures. You wanna identify your scapula here with your glenoid, and then right here, this cortex is going to be the humeral head. So I'll hit play here, you can see this humeral head right in the glenohumeral joint, right where it should be. What you can do kind of for fun, maybe a good party trick, is you can have the patient externally rotate and internally rotate the arm, and you can see that thing move right in that glenohumeral joint. So you want to have a nice clear line with a little lift right here. This is the humeral head in the glenohumeral joint. This is the scapula right here. This is the glenoid. This is not a shoulder dislocation. This, unfortunately for this patient, is a dislocation. So we have the same positioning. We have the scapula over here with the glenoid here. And look, the humeral head is all the way down here. It's away from the transducer. You have the transducer on the patient's back, so this is an anterior dislocation, which is the most common type. You will often see a little bit of heterogeneous material within this joint capsule. This is hemorrhage due to that dislocation. Now, I did mention this is an anterior dislocation. If this were a posterior dislocation, all you need to do is look for that humeral head closer to your probe or up here. So to recap, you should use your curvilinear or linear transducer. You should place the probe in the transverse orientation in the posterior aspect of the shoulder. Another thing as well that you could do is you could actually use this to guide your reduction. Let's say you have a patient that comes in and they have a shoulder dislocation that you saw on your x-ray. What you can do is you can look after your reduction just with that ultrasound to make sure that that joint is in fact the way it's supposed to look or the humeral head is within that glenohumeral joint. Sometimes I might not even get the x-ray. I might see somebody that is a recurrent dislocator. The story isn't too suspicious for other trauma. I might get that ultrasound, diagnose it, reduce it after I do an interscaling block most of the time, and get that ultrasound right after to make sure it's in the joint and send the patient home. So it's an option. I'm not saying you should do that on all comers and you definitely shouldn't do it if you're not comfortable with it, but it is an option. That's it for this week's five minute sono. Please feel free to send me an email or a tweet. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Go to blog.5minutesono.com slash subscribe. Leave me your name and your email in the little text box and never miss another video. And if you want your podcast sent directly to your smart devices, you can always type in 5 Minutes Sono in whatever podcasting service you use, leave me a rating and review, and subscribe.